everyone, welcome back. We're here to watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 2, Episode 11, Stakeout. And I might be wrong, but I feel like we already had an episode about a stakeout. I don't know though. Last episode, we had the Pontiac Bandit returning and leaving yet again. The ever so elusive Pontiac Bandit. We finally made some progress with the Giggle Pig. I don't know if we're gonna get what's her name back again. Um, lunch me, uh, munch. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna get munch back just to rub it in her face that we did what we did, but I'm sure eventually we'll come around to it. Anyway, let's jump into episode 11. Uh, the full length reaction will be available on Patreon. You can check it out there. We have exclusive reactions to movies and TV shows over yonder. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button so I can keep pumping out this content. And let's jump into the episode. Good morning, Diaz, Peralta. Oh, he's in a good mood. You're smiling. Like seeing a turtle out of its shell. <laughs> I get to watch my nemesis, Madeline Wunsch, <gasps> rape a metal around my neck. <laughs> Clean up the streets. Yeah, sure, that's good too. <laughs> I have the perfect line. Lunch time is over. <laughs> so it's a play on lunchtime. It would really show her as if you said nothing at all. She's not even worth my staying up all night crafting zingers. Oh my god. Turn the other cheek. I should be the bigger <laughs> person, given that Madeline's not a person. The NYPD bestows this award, Captain Raymond Holt. That was so hard for you, wasn't it? Raymond. Madeline. Go ahead and gloat, you toad. Thank you for this honor. Oh. Mm. Lunch time is over. <laughs> Boom, did it. No regrets. Yo, uh, the pettiness. We have intel on a drop house. You need a couple of teams to do long-term stakeout. Four hours is the most I've ever spent alone with any human. We drove out to Boston together. That was about four hours. Oh, I see what just happened. <laughs> we can go in as exterminators. Eight day out, so two teams. Boyle and I are in. One I miss team. the Boyle and Jake team. Two of us can do the full eight days. It's too long to be holed up together like that. The only time I ever yelled at Charles was cheering him on at his roller boogie. Oh uh, no. First fight. Making my twins a picture book for their birthday. Oh. Whoa, this one looks just like you, Gina. And this one's definitely you. Look how masculine the clothes are. Only because it's easier for me to draw from real life. Tiny squirrel is Charles. That's Hitchcock and Scully. How do they do Oh my god. It's a kid's book, Santiago. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to show it to people. <laughs> oh, did you carry us up here like suitcases? I rolled you in on the cart. Fox <laughs> Perry sucks. Great. Braided herring and jellied starfish. I may be stuck in a tiny room, but my palate will travel the world. <laughs> if you start getting on each other's nerves, go to separate corners. I'll do respect, Sarge, but we don't need alone zones. You're gonna need it. How do we feel about scone zones? Mm. I'm a muffin guy. Yeah, I'm like, mm. uh, Made the perfect ringtone. Listen. I don't wanna let you go till we catch the guy. I love it. Mini basketball. Yeah, oh my. we're gonna drive each other crazy. This is my nephew, Marcus. He's <laughs> No way. He is 31. Rosa, Terry. I'm Jake. Scully and Hitchcock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, let everybody get back to work. Bye. Holy Moses. For you, that's basically walking up to him and jamming your tongue down his throat. <gasps> Rosa? Rosa wants to bone your nephew. <laughs> really? She didn't deny it. I don't want to let you go to it. That sleep apnea mask is something else, huh? <laughs> This is the guy who runs the drop house. I call him the oh, beach umbrella. Oh, we made some progress. This is a kind of weird request, but would you and your there door buskers is. with your mouth closed? I have a new eating method. Open mouth, oxygenate the food. And I hear you, buddy. Let's eat separately then. I don't complain about how gross your meal is. Pancakes with butter and maple syrup. You're just eating butter with syrup on it. <laughs> I cut out the carbs. This is me being healthy. We would just eat in separate corners of the room. Wait. That's alone zones. We're fine. We're not fighting. We're great. Oh, Even gosh. We're going to be stubby about it. Take me out tonight. Love this song. I can't even remember the original lyric. Hey, listen, about our... That, that's not a big deal. To be safe, we could write down some of each other's annoying behavior. Oh, my gosh. But the no-no list. Okay. No reciting poetry, no ballroom dancing, and no male kegels. I'm going to do my kegels secretly. I can definitely tell. No butter syrup. No talking about Die Hard. Or Die Hard 2 or Die Hard 3. What? Are any other Die Hard movies worth watching during Christmas or do I, can I just watch any other time? 
It's not on the list. It's a slam dunk. Oop me. Ooping. <laughs> you wanted to see me, sir? I have a seat here. You remember my nephew, Marcus? He asked me to ask you if you are single. I'm not a third grade girl with pigtails <laughs> passing love notes. It's embarrassing. Agreed. It's I am single. <laughs> but if Marcus wants my number, he can ask me for it. But who will tell him that? <laughs> not you, apparently. You took the last Danish. Oh, sorry. Did you read Terry's book about us? He said not to read it. She's like, come on, son. My character, Cricket, is such a pushover. Well, Junebug is a stone cold. Hey, can I just scoot you in there to the coffee? You can scoot your ass back in line. Ooh. My coffee needs are just as important as yours. How about you take it out on the right person? Gina. <laughs> Terry, I try not to judge people. Someone use the drop house. Perfect name for a porta potty company. I am taking that straight to Shark Tank. <laughs> We've made it impossible to annoy each other. We're gonna make out with the steak out. <laughs> hey, bud, is rhyming on your no no list? No. He used to like that about him, probably. Seems pretty close to reciting poetry. But it's different. Yeah. I'm just gonna add it. <laughs> so, uh, so we can add things now? We got the time and we got the ink. Everything but the kitchen sink. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Bullet holes in my butt stiffen up. No talking about your butthole. No pull ups. No yoga. No beatboxing. No oh, letting. No dandruff. No multi level marketing schemes. <laughs> no calling legitimate business idea schemes. No park. No running man. Sure. Movie or the dance. No more talking at all. Fine, putting that on your list too. Two, one, no talking. Zip it. Two more days. Hey, Captain! The Beach Umbrella has had non-stop visitors. We came up with fun little nicknames for everyone. People thought you'd be at each other's throats by now. Do you need a relief team? What? Nah. <laughs> See you in a couple of days. Okay, okay sounds good. good. Bye, bye, love bye. you. <laughs> Hold the door. Maybe if you did more cardio and less weights, you'd move faster. No, no, no! no door open, closed! Door open! Door open! open. Hitchcock and Scully didn't make it. Time for an emergency stop and talk. We read your book. I'm not a pushover. I'm a natural, beautiful presence. I'm sorry these characters look like you, but that's where the resemblance stops. Junebug is a meanie to the platy pup, and Cricket is a pushover, but she's very brave in the Dolphin Wars. These stories are nonsense. <laughs> True. Bringing something more to my book? That's on you. Come, have breakfast with us. Yeah, Barley. Okay. Oh, no. Detective Diaz is here. Hello, Kevin. Rosa. Marcus. And Cheddar. Cheddar is also here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we sit? I don't think sit. I would be jetting. Ooh. Detective Rosa Diaz is in my breakfast nook. My being here is weird. We shouldn't see each other again. Aww. Stupid herring. Oh, so we're talking now? I'm that's guessing glib. that's his camera. Don't be glib. It's on the list. I don't even know what glib means. Is it something you can hear Garfield saying? Me keeping things light and being Garfeldian is the only reason we don't fight. <laughs> Wrong, baby. It's because I never say anything when you annoy me constantly, uh, baby. I, uh, baby. I'm a duck's back, baby. Stop saying baby. <laughs> yes. And all this is who I am. And if you don't like this stuff, then we shouldn't be friends. We're not friends. <sighs> Tonight. I hate this song. I yeah. stand by it. <laughs> then we're done. Yeah. Looks like boils out and Hitchcock's in. Go to a strip club, have dinner with my wife. Those separate options. You want to know? You got to go. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> the drop site has been abandoned. We oh. told you eight days was too long for a stakeout. It's who I was stuck there with. I could easily have done it with Scully. You would have applied that cream to his back. <laughs> you need to find Bisco. Take Boyle. Sir. Oh. Can't work with Charles. We're not friends anymore. This is not a play date. True. Sarge, I need to talk to you about the kids' book. Seriously? I think it bothered me because sometimes I can be a pushover. Felt nice to stand up for myself this week. I also learned a valuable lesson. It was wolves on the damn sweater. I, am, and I should never change. <laughs> I'm speaking to you as a friend, not mm. a captain. I have this brassiere you left behind. <gasps> this is room. <laughs> also, I hope the fact that you and I work together won't prevent you from dating. Uh, I don't want to talk to you about it. Oh, perfect. Great. Then let's just don't get never pregnant, Rosa. It. <laughs> it's gonna be his mm, how many a child? <laughs> yes. It's Bisco. Fire stable. 
my back i've always got your back look this whole thing has been so stupid are we friends again no oh we're best friends we're best friends we're brothers god it was terrifying we're brothers look brothers <laughs> fight but at the end of the day they're always there for each other <laughs> brother had sex with my wife and then he ran to the florida keys i'll finish you just be arrested man <laughs> we're trying to have a moment here Okay, great episode, Stake Out. I knew them being paired off together as much as like they're the best of friends was gonna be an issue. Because like, yes, they're actually both really stubborn too. Them wanting to prove a point that they could make it eight days, plus they're super, like especially boiled. Like we knew he was gonna have like super annoying habits. We, we just knew it was gonna be an issue. But I'm glad that in the end of the day, they realize that, you know, they still have each other's back no matter what. They need to just take advice. Nick Cannon being in the show was an unexpected plot twist. And of all people for him to date, it's Rosa. Like, seeing her just go like, yes. That was the funniest thing. First of all, when she said bye, and Gina was like, oh, that's her, like, shoving her tongue tongue down his throat <laughs> I didn't even see it as that at first and then I was like oh my gosh yeah actually she's acknowledged somebody all right Rosa but I just don't know what she because he seemed like a really pleasant you know he seemed like a perfectly nice person from the few seconds we've seen him nothing that really sticks out so it's like what is her type is it just physical or does she actually like no no because she said something about her ex being like a jerk no then again a jerk to her is not necessarily like the same thing you would probably assume a jerk is hmm so that was the cutest thing when he <laughs> he wrapped up her her brassiere <laughs> and put it in a little brown bag <laughs> and of course him getting his his um his moment in front of everyone to stick it to lunch. That was that was the best. That was hilarious. Um, ooh, and then finally, um, Amy and Gina, Terry's other kids at work, you know, also getting a lesson from the books that he made his actual two daughters was another cute thing, you know. Because even though he's like, it's just a book, you guys are reading too much into it. It's like, mm. but you, you you didn't just base your looks on them. Come on, be real. And so I'm glad that they were able to take a mess. I mean, Gino, did she really, did she really get any message from that? But maybe we all need to aspire to be like Gina's, to have Gina's level of Delulu, you know, be that confident in yourself. <laughs> when she was like, a love. <laughs> so that was probably one of my favorite lines from her. Anywho, um, full length reaction is available on Patreon. You can check it out there. Come and chat it up with us over on Discord. I hope y'all are staying safe. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye, y'all.